the point that the Congress party is raising at this point in time is that Rahul Gandhi is contesting from the two seats of Vainard and Raibareli and he is expected as per them to win both seats. The Congress says that if he wins both seats, he will retain Vainard and he will give up Raibareli for Priyanka Gandhi. If that truly is the scenario, then why not let Priyanka Gandhi contest from Raibareli to begin with, to make her political debut from one of the family bastion seats? Had Priyanka Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi contested from Amethi and Rai Bareilly, the impact would have been very much greater. The fact that uh, uh, it's only Rahul Gandhi who is contesting and frankly a seat that uh, uh, now is held by Ms. Smithy Rani is being contested by, by someone else uh, is really, in a sense, it definitely hurts the overall image uh, of the entire family uh, of the Gandhi family. The fact is, Rahul Gandhi, in particular, is playing for very high stakes, or maybe Sonia Gandhi is playing him for high stakes. Let's put it that way. Lakshmi Joshi, what do you make of this decision? Do you think it's a lost opportunity for the Congress Party? This could have been maybe the perfect time for Priyanka Gandhi Vadra to make a political debut, uh, possibly even from a Methi. Had she been contested against Smriti Rani in Amethi, then that would have certainly been a battle to watch out for in this general uh, election. But why do you feel that the Congress party has then taken that decision to just uh, make her wait? Good morning, Devika. I uh, completely agree with uh, Professor Nalapat. You know, the kind of messaging that would have gone... If uh, you know, Priyanka Vadra would have contested, would have been completely different. Uh, but, you know, I think that there are a lot of factors behind why uh, this kind of a decision was made. Uh, you know, over the last uh, so many years, uh, particularly over the last 10 years, I would say, there has been a constant decline, not just in the vote share in uh, Amethi, but also in Rai Bareli. There has been a constant decline, even though, uh, you know, we probably, uh, most people must have thought that uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi is very comfortably there in Rai Bareli. Things were not so because, you know, that uh, uh, her vote percentage has dipped from uh, 72% in uh, uh, 2009 to say around 62% to now 55% in 2019. So that, there has been a constant decline there. And not just that, you know, even in the Vidhan Sabha elections also, they fared very badly, even in Amethi and as well as in Rai Bareli. So both the constituencies are actually right now not the safe for, uh, seats for uh, any of the Gandhis, very frankly. So if you look at it, uh, initially, you know, uh, in Amethi, uh, out of the five uh, constituencies in the Vidhan Sabha, uh, BJP had won four and uh, Samajwadi Party had won one. And in Rai Bareli also things were similar. And there were uh, a couple, you know, there were a couple more seats for the Samajwadi Party, but then uh, they shifted over to the BJP. So the Congress is literally not present in uh, either in the Vidhan Sabha also, and even in the Panchayat elections they fared very badly. So it is not as if you know it's only uh, at the top that you know Mr. Uh, Rahul Gandhi has lost in the Amethi elections. So it has been a constant dip in the entire performance. You know, it has seeped down right up to the panchayat elections. So all of that has, I think, you know, they have actually uh, completely abandoned not just Amethi and Rai Bareri, they have abandoned the entire state of Uttar Pradesh. If we look at it, in the Vidhan Sabha elections, they won only two seats, the entire Congress, in the entire state of Uttar Pradesh. And things were similar even in the Lok Sabha election. Uh, in 2019, they won one seat in Rai Bareri. So just imagine that this is the kind of uh, a situation that uh, things are. So they are not very confident at all about winning. So apart from that, uh, Mrs. Sonia Gandhi doesn't want to give even the slightest, uh, you know, she doesn't want to give away even the slightest bit of power to anybody outside her family. So that is how I see the things. See, Mr. Robert Padra, all said and done, he's a son-in-law, he's not a Gandhi. So he actually was very insistent that he will contest from there. There were a, uh, a lot of uh, 
uh, news about there was a lot of news about how you know he was going saying that there there are a lot of posters in amethi so uh, very frankly she could have played that kind of a, a card where she could have at least con- uh, you know brought her daughter inside to contest from there but okay. she chose to keep it within her family and even mr kl sharma right now is supposed to be a confident who uh, has not spoken a word outside what uh, you know the gandhi parivar has said so he is such a close confident of the gandhis that it looks as if uh, he is a proxy candidate of the gandhis more than a candidate of the congress so i think that that is the way things are right now and i think that they have literally almost given up on both the seats actually it's not just amethi they have given up on both the seats almost you could say okay uh- where rahul gandhi had an opportunity to show his leadership qualities in contesting and fighting it does not matter whether you win or lose what matters is that you are willing to take the courage, to show the courage and the fortitude to fight in an election against a worthy adversary but rahul gandhi chose not to do that and rahul gandhi chose to go to the second safest seat that is possible for him which is rai bareilly and he's doing that as priyanka is certainly showing more promise in her speeches more uh, ability to connect with the people in her speeches than rahul gandhi why are you keeping her away what are you trying to protect her from or is it just because the idea of this patriarchal mindset that congress has and that is why they want to focus only on the son the mother wants to focus only on the son and because of her focus only on the son she is willing to destroy the party destroy the country with the stupidity of her son and expect the country to accept it 